welcome back to devices startup channel again and today we will learn how to set up any netgear extender model in an access point mode so first things first i will recommend you to reset the extender first so for that plug the extender into a wall outlet and wait for its power led to turn stable now grab a paper clip or pin and put it inside the factory reset hole of your extender for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall and wait for at least one minute for the extender power led to get stable now check for any toggle button on your extender because some netgear extender models have button to switch between access point and extender mode if you have a button then toggle it to access point mode also you will need to connect an ethernet cable from your router's LAN port to your Wi-Fi extender's LAN port. Next, after this, we start the Netgear extender setup as an access point. So grab any of your phone or computer and go to the Wi-Fi list. There, you will see the Netgear underscore EXT network name showing up. Connect to it. The Netgear extender setup window will pop up automatically. If it doesn't, then open a browser on the very same device and in the URL or address bar, please type 192.168.1.250 or type myWiFiEXT.net. This will take you to Netgear new extender setup page. Be very sure to type it in the address bar only because if you type it in the search bar then you might land up on Netgear's third party website where fake Netgear technicians can scam you for hundreds of dollars. I have made the complete video about it. You should definitely watch it too. The link is in the description. Nonetheless, on the setup page, create your account and it will ask you if you want to set up your device as an access point or as a range extender. So select access point there. On the next window, you will have to fill details like SSID or network name for your access point, its password, its network security type, etc. We recommend you keep WPA2 PSK as your security type and hit save settings. Once you do that, after 60 seconds, you will see the Netgear newly set up access point showing up in your Wi-Fi list. You can connect to it using the password you used during the setup. Also, when you set up your extender in an access point mode, you will have to keep the ethernet cable connected between the extender and the router always. The benefit of access point mode is that you will get faster internet speeds than range extender mode. But the only drawback is that you will need a long enough ethernet cable running through your house if you already didn't have the fittings in your wall. Also, you can get in touch if you have any doubts related to this access point setup. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if the video was useful for you. Thank you so much.